For today's video, we're going to look at some of the scariest TV characters that don't fit the traditional villain mold. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can a character be scary if they're not technically a villain? Well, trust me, these guys will give you nightmares. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be scared stiff. First up, the Devil, Reaper. A frightening television figure who isn't always a bad guy. The Devil also goes by the name The Grim Reaper. Death is personified in him, and he frequently takes the form of a skeleton shrouded in a cloak of pitch blackness. Although depictions of the devil can be found in various films and television programs, the character of the devil in Reaper, which aired in 2007, is especially frightening. Ray Weiss portrays the devil in the film Reaper. The devil is in charge of gathering the souls of deceased people and is represented by Ray Weiss. However, when he's bored with his work, he prefers to torture the souls he's supposed to send to hell instead of sending them there. The Devil is a terrifying character, and it's easy to see why he's generally considered one of the scariest TV characters available. He's got a lot of potential for bad things to happen. Up next, Angel, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. While Buffy the Vampire Slayer may be known for its focus on villains, a few non-villainous characters are just as scary. Angel, played by David Boreanaz, is one of those characters. While he may have started as a love interest for Buffy, he quickly became one of the scariest characters on the show. Angel is a vampire with a human soul. This means that he can feel emotions, making him even more dangerous. He is often portrayed as a brooding and dark character, adding to his scary factor. He's also been known to be very violent, especially when it comes to protecting those he cares about. While Angel may not be an outright villain, there is no denying that he is one of the scariest characters on television. It is best to be on your guard if you find yourself in his presence. Now for Gemma, Sons of Anarchy. On the show Sons of Anarchy, Jax Teller has a mother named Gemma who is both a terrifying and loving figure. She is completely devoted to her family and would do everything for them, even if it meant breaking the law or causing causing the death of a few others. Because Gemma is so fiercely devoted and protective of those she cares about, she is not only a formidable opponent, but also someone you should avoid going up against under any circumstances. Gemma is undeniably one of the most terrifying characters in television history, even though she's not a villain in the conventional sense. Next we have Tony Soprano, The Sopranos. Tony Soprano is the leader of the criminal organization known as the Dimension family. He is widely regarded as one of the most feared and revered individuals in all of New Jersey. In addition to these roles, he is a man who struggles mightily with challenge related to his mental health. Tony is not exactly the type of person you want on your side, even if he isn't a bad guy in and of himself. He is a multifaceted person capable of both tremendous acts of generosity and horrendous acts of violence. This paradox makes him both incredibly intriguing to observe and quite dangerous to be around. There is no denying the fact that Tony is a potentially harmful individual. He is responsible for the deaths of dozens of people, some of whom he murdered in cold blood. When it comes to getting what he wants, he has no difficulty resorting to coercion or physical violence. However, in addition to that, he is a devoted father and a husband to his family. He is a man who is constantly striving to do his best. Although he is well aware that he is not flawless, Tony Soprano is, without a doubt, one of the most multifaceted and interesting characters in television history. Additionally, he is one of the most terrifying. It is impossible to predict what he will do next, which is precisely what makes him such a terrifying adversary. Next. Billy Butcher, The Boys. Billy Butcher is the head of the vigilante group known as The Boys, who is charged with keeping an eye on the superhuman community and bringing to light any wrongdoing they discover. Even if his tactics are frequently cruel, he is driven by a strong desire to defend the defenseless and make the world a better place for everyone. He is a frightening figure, both physically and emotionally, and he is not hesitant to resort to violent means to accomplish what he wants to. Even though he's not a bad guy, he is undeniably one of the most terrifying characters that can be found on television. Next is The Man in Black. 
Westworld. The Man in Black is the primary antagonist of the HBO television series Westworld. He is portrayed by Ed Harris. The Man in Black is a ruthless, murderous sociopath who takes sadistic delight in torturing and killing both humans and androids. He is also a wealthy businessman with a mysterious past. Despite his horrific actions, there is something strangely likable about the Man in Black. He's clever, charming, and always seems to be one step ahead of everyone else. It's this charisma that makes him so scary. The Man in Black is a chilling reminder that even the most seemingly normal person can be hiding a dark side. Now for Walter White, Breaking Bad. He may be the protagonist of Breaking Bad, but that doesn't make Walter White any less scary. A former high school chemistry teacher, Walter turns to cook meth after he's diagnosed with cancer. He's ruthless and manipulative and will do anything to protect his empire. Oh, and did we mention he has a habit of killing people who cross him? Yeah, that is pretty terrifying. Let's discuss Daenerys Targaryen. Game of Thrones. Daenerys Targaryen, also known as Danny and the Mother of Dragons, is one of the most iconic characters in Game of Thrones. She is the daughter of King Aerys II Targaryen, who was overthrown in Robert's Rebellion. Danny was born into royalty but was forced to flee her home when her father was murdered. She spent much of her early life as a refugee, living worldwide. In season one, she married Khal Drago, a Dothkari chieftain, to gain allies. After Drago's death, she took control of his army and led them across the narrow sea to invade Westeros. Danny is a strong and determined leader who always fights for what she believes in. However, she can also be very impulsive and emotional. This sometimes leads her to make rash decisions, which can have disastrous consequences. For example, in Season 5, she burned down a city full of innocent people because she was angry and frustrated. This event caused many people to question her ability to rule. Despite her flaws, Daenerys is an incredibly brave and compassionate person. She has always been willing to help those who are suffering. For instance, she freed the slaves of Marine and gave them their city to live in. She also provided shelter for the refugees of Westeros, who were fleeing the war. Many people are afraid of Daenerys because of her power and her dragons. However, she has shown time and time again that she is not a villain. She is simply a woman who is fighting for what she believes in. Now for Guerrero, Human Target. The primary antagonist of the television show Human Target in 2010 is Guerrero. He is a trained assassin who is paid to carry out the job of killing individuals for other people. Hand-to-hand -hand combat is not a problem for Guerrero because he is a very accomplished fighter who can easily prevail over his opponents. In addition, he is an expert imposter who can transform his appearance into that of anybody he chooses. Guerrero is an extremely dangerous antagonist responsible for many people's death over the course of his career. If it meant getting paid more, he would not hesitate to take the lives of innocent people. Guerrero is a ruthless assassin who will resort to whatever means necessary to achieve his objectives. While Guerrero might not be the most powerful bad guy on this list, he is unquestionably one of the most terrifying. Because of his ability to blend in with his surroundings and his propensity to kill anyone, he is an extremely dangerous adversary. You should have a great deal of dread and anxiety if you find yourself in the same room as Guerrero. Finally, Vic Mackey, The Shield. Vic Mackey is the leader of an elite strike team unit in the Los Angeles Police Department. He's a dirty cop who will do whatever it takes to get the job done, even if that means breaking the law. He's ruthless, violent, and often scary as hell. But he's also one of the best cops on the force, and he's always able to get results. Vic Mackey is one of the scariest TV characters, but he's not a villain. He's just a morally ambiguous anti-hero who you can't help but root for, even though you know you probably shouldn't. It's not just that villains can be scary on TV. Sometimes, the character that aren't trying to be scary can be the most frightening. Here are the 10 scariest TV characters that aren't villains. Thank you for watching, and until next time, have a wonderful day. Also, don't forget to tell us what you think in the comments section below.